I don't love how it seems I've been focusing on negative things lately uh, in my videos on this channel. And I know I always extract a lesson or there is some positive spin, so they're not actually negative. But I've been thinking about my focus on these things instead of what all of the heartwarming stories I could be focusing on because it's not lost on me that there are a lot of kind, nice things going on in the world. But unfortunately, the negative things are more thought-provoking for me. I saw some heartwarming videos on YouTube. There are just sweet things going on right now and we need to be reminded of that and I'm aware of that. Uh, but unfortunately, they're sweet and that is it. And I like analyzing things and questioning things, as I mentioned before. And the more negative or more heavy stories of what is going on in the world right now tend to um, give rise to more thoughts for me to analyze and where I can find those business lessons and writing lessons and uh, as much as possible positive spin. So I don't think I've been... Uh, too negative on this channel, but I had to accept that that's my point of view and that's what I bring to this content and that is the lesson for you as well. Um, you need to express your point of view in your content. Um, you need to find the angle that uh, makes your topic unique to you and differentiates you from someone else who is talking about the same topic. And uh, this can be hard. So this video is related to, if you haven't already watched my Finding Your Writing Voice video, um, that is more of a tutorial that you can go into. But this was really um, me realizing and accepting why I've made certain choices for my content and that you need to make those same choices for your content. Because when you do, you not only define who your content is for, you define who your content is not for. You need to have a strong voice in your writing and in your content. And that means losing people. You know, if someone wanted someone who looks different from me, who is all smiles and cheery all the time, um, like only that way, I know I can be that way, but if someone wanted only that, they're not going to be interested in my channel. And I can't be afraid of losing those people. So you have to keep that in mind for your writing and your content too. When you take a strong point of view, which you should if you want to be a writer with a distinct voice, you're going to lose the people that don't resonate with that strong voice. And that's okay because you'll never attract the right people if you don't turn away the wrong people. So if you're not already subscribed to the Revision Fairy channel, I give writing advice every week. So tap that red button below the video and also hit the notification bell because then you'll get a note when I've published a new video for you. And if you are ready to take a stand and not be afraid to lose the wrong people, the wrong people who aren't the right fit for your writing and your content, like this video, that seems kind of counterintuitive, but like this video if you are not afraid to lose, and I will talk to you very soon.